Hello beautiful ones and crafty friends. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. This is RJ, your Thrifty Crafter. I hope everyone is doing well today. I'm here to share with you today one of my Valentine's Day cards for my Valentine's Day card series of 2018. And also, um, I also wanted to share a suggestion that I always kind of notice that when I see a lot of the lady crafters that they never think about the man in their life. Brother, husband, uncle, cousin. So what I've challenged, my challenge is for 2018 to all my viewers, followers, and friends is that when you make one card for your girlfriend, make one for a boyfriend. Alright? Let's get started. So, let's share, let me first share with you the products that I use. Um, this this particular cards that I did, I use um, embossing folders because um, I have a lot of those and I think it's important to use what you have. And um, my goal is not to go out and buy anything, it's to use what I already have in my stash. So, here we go. So, I use my favorite paper line, Recollections. Um, this is the red hue. This, um, five colors of that and I use the black and I use also the white um, in my first car which I'm going to show with you is for the ladies um, that was my intent I used hugs and kisses this is a Michael stamp um, it says 2015 on it it may have been 2014 or it could be last year. And I use my Spellbinders. This one is called Floor de Lee Squares. And I use that one here. And I think I use um, the way that you count with these is you start with the smallest being number one and you're working your way outward. So I use the third one for my first card. Now let me share with you my card. So here's my first card. And I hope you guys can see that. Please let me know. Uh, like I said, I'm still trying to uh, work with my new angle. So here's my card. Um, as you can see, it's um, A2 size. And I have it going this way. And I use two layers to inlay the um, square and I use two layers for the um, embossing and I don't know if you can see the embossing very well in there but it has X's and O's on the embossing folder and this embossing folder is by Cuddlebug and it also has a strip that you can use for the inside or the outside of the envelope okay that's card number one card number two I used, see, so oh, there might be a glare. Hold on, you guys. There we go. I used this stamp here. And I used this die set. This is Spellbinder's Hearts die square. And I used the third one, sorry, third one in that selection. And I use, this is a Dyrese embossing folder and it has lips on it. And here is my finished card. Um, if you go onto my blog, which I will post in the description, and I will leave um, the measurements on there if you like. So here's my card, you guys. Um, the hearts. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see the lips. Um, quick tip when you're embossing. Um, what I tend to do is that I will take the piece that I'm going to emboss. And I will put score tape on the other side. And then I will take a mister, like my little Tim Holtz um, mister, and lightly spray it over the card before I emboss. So that's a quick tip for today. 
So, oh, and I also, I don't know if you can see, I put Dimension Ozone, some foam squares that I got um, from my 99 cent store, and I added that. Simple, but has a lot of bang. I love to hear your thoughts. So, if you like my cards, please hit that like button. I love to hear your comments. Please keep those coming. Um, if you'd like to have more content, please check my description box for my social media. And also hit that bell in your right corner and it will give you um, updates when I post videos. Thank you so much everyone for taking the time to stop by today. As always in party, I wish you peace, love, and blessings. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.